So you've been editing your videos and they look awesome. But you feel like there's something missing. You know there's potential for something more dynamic, something that will captivate your audience and make your content stand out. That's where our journey begins. One day, while experimenting with different transitions, I realized the power of the shake effect. It's subtle, yet it can add a whole new level of energy and excitement to your videos. I'm gonna show you how to create the foundation of a shake transition. And on the last couple projects, I've been making each one by hand, which is extremely time consuming. So that's why I decided to create my own custom shake transitions pack that you guys can download linked down in the description. Not only will I have drag and drop transitions that you can apply directly into your project, but I've also included somewhat the ultimate shake transition effect that you can drag from your effects library on top of an adjustment clip. And then that way you can basically just place the shake effect anywhere you want throughout your timeline. And that's super important because sometimes when you're doing transitions such as speed ramping, dragging and dropping on a transition sometimes can be a little difficult because you won't have enough room within the clip in order to have the full effect. And that's why using the adjustment clip is chef's kiss. Before we dive into the pack, let's take a moment to understand why shake transitions are so effective. Picture this, your footage transitions smoothly, but with a little bit of shake, it adds that organic touch that makes the scene come alive. It's engaging, it's dynamic, and it keeps your viewers on their toes. Simply download the pack from the link in the description and double click the DRFX file. This will automatically install the transitions into the folder. With the pack installed, it's time to test it out. Open up DaVinci Resolve and load your project. Select a clip where you wanna add the transition and apply one of the shake effects. You'll notice there are several variations, each designed for different intensities and styles, each fully customizable to create different intensities, glow and flash styles, and even a little bit of warp. Experiment to see which one fits your scene best. As you play around with the transitions, you might face some challenges, like finding the perfect timing or intensity. But don't worry, I've got some tips for you. Try adjusting the duration of the transition, or better yet, use an adjustment clip and drag on my JF Shake Sauce plugin. Here we have two clips, and we're gonna create a simple shake transition between the two. So over here on the left-hand side, you wanna select Effects, and just go ahead and drag on a cross dissolve between the two. Close the Effects panel, Right click on the transition and select Convert to Fusion Cross Dissolve. Right click on the transition again and select Open in Fusion Page. With the Cross Dissolve node selected, hold down Shift and press Spacebar and type in Camera. Select Camera Shake. Right click on Overall Strength and select Modify with Anim Curves. Then come up here and select Modifiers. For Curve, select Custom. Click in the middle and drag it up all the way to the top. Select the point at the end and drag it all the way to the bottom. Select the top point and push S to smooth it out. Then do the exact same thing for the bottom two points. Bring each one of the curves adjustments down to the middle just like this. Then select Tools to come back to the camera shake options. Under Edges, select Duplicate. Now you can change the speed of the shake, the X deviation, the Y deviation, rotation deviation, and also randomness. Go ahead and right click on Cross Dissolve and select Ungroup. With the Cross Dissolve node selected, come up here to the right hand side and select Modifiers. On the offset, type in negative 20. On the scale, type in 40. Lastly, with the Camera Shake node selected, come up here to Tools, select Settings, and if you want, you can turn on Motion Blur. Now you can adjust the cross dissolve shake transition that we just created to the length that you would like. But if you're dealing with speed ramping, you will have an issue and it will be really annoying to try to edit to make sure there's enough of the clip to transition into from one to the other, especially if you're doing tracking and creating compound clips. It's just the workflow doesn't work well. So within the pack, you come up here to the effects and drag an adjustment clip over where you wanna do the transitions. Go ahead and trim that clip. For example, I wanna have a transition that goes from this clip to that clip, and I wanna have some sauce on it, right? So under the effects, go down until you see JF Shake Sauce, 
then drag the JF shake sauce on top of the adjustment clip. Here on the right hand side, you have full control over how the transition and how the shake effect will work and affect the clips down below it. So, for example, this is with no effect on it. Then, when you turn this on, it adds a little bit of shake to the overall effect. And depending on how far you drag this will determine how strong the overall effect kind of goes over the entire video. It works just like the transition that we were somewhat working on earlier. You have customizable glow and flash options. So if you want to have a flash in between each one of these, you can control that by dragging this up and down. And I'll show you a really dramatic version of this. But basically, the longer you have this adjustment clip, the longer the flash will take and the overall effect of the entire effect for the video down below it. But if you have short adjustment clips like this, you can just duplicate the adjustment clip and drag multiple effects over across every single one of these little clips. And what's really cool is say if you just want the flash, you can turn down the shake speed, duplicate that clip, turn off the flash, and then turn the shake speed back up and make this adjustment clip just a shake clip. So you can do two in one. So you guys may be wondering, how did you get the car to have some really cool warpiness? Well, here on this upper adjustment clip, you can actually come to the middle, that's where the effect is the strongest, turn the size of the dent amount just a little bit. I think negative 0.3 is the furthest I've ever really gone with it because after a while, it really starts to distort it. I mean, you can go however far you want, but this is where I have a lot of fun with it. And you can also change the size of this entire effect over the entire clip. Go ahead and duplicate the clip again. With that adjustment clip selected, Go ahead and delete the shake sauce. I'm gonna come over here and use my shockwave plugin, drag that on top of this adjustment clip, which is also available linked down in the description. The shockwave effect will start as soon as the adjustment clip starts to play. So you kinda of wanna time this so it just basically kinda of starts to happen after this distortion effect happens on the car. Right now, by default, there's two shockwave effects. So in order to change that, you can just select that adjustment clip and turn down the wave amount to one. You can also change the distort strength, also the distort contrast and the wave size. So you can really turn up the wave size and just kind of play with the distort details to kind of get the look that you're looking for. So I'm gonna just finally turn the distort detail down all the way, turn up the distort strength to about 0.63 and I'm not gonna put any RGB in this for now, so I'm just gonna leave it like this and then just play this back. And boom, kind of creates like a really big shock wave basically throughout the clip. Maybe the distort strength is a little too much. Maybe I'll turn it down just a little bit. Subtle is more with all of these effects or unless you wanna go for that look. After mastering the shake transitions, you'll see the difference. Your videos will have a new level of professionalism and energy and purposely for maximum effect. As you continue to use these transitions, your editing skills will evolve. You'll find new ways to integrate them creatively, pushing the boundaries of your storytelling. With my new shake transition pack, you'll have a bunch of powerful tools in your editing arsenal. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more tips and tricks, and check out my online store for all your filmmaking needs. 